Grant Cardone. Welcome back. This is the Cardone Zone. Every Friday, I come to you to talk about your business, your career, your finances. Today, I'm talking about your mental condition. If you don't know that you're dumb, you're in more trouble than the guy that knows he's dumb. Everybody agree with that? You know, I walked into my... I walked into my internet department one day. I said, who's the dumbest person in the room? John, my man, John, he's on the rack today. John's like, that'd be me. That'd be me. I said, you know what? I can trust John. It's these other six guys in here that don't know they're dumb. Because let's face it, everybody's dumb. So what I want you to do today, man, you guys got to quit stacking information on top of bad information. Right? You understand? I got bad information. I try to stack new information on top of bad information. And what do I have? I got a guy confused, right? Should I buy a home or not buy a home? I don't know. You guys got to decide. I, t I, I, I write an article that buying a home is a dumb thing for most people. And what happens? This real estate group that wants me to come in and speak about to salespeople about how to sell homes won't have me because I said buying a home is a bad deal. It's dumb. Okay. Well, it is dumb if you need mobility. It is dumb if you want the money to invest in other things. It is maybe dumb if you're 27 years old, you don't have a wife and kids, man, and you got your whole career in front of you, and, and, and you're staking down on a 30-year mortgage. I'm just saying, man. I mean, just because your mama and daddy bought a home doesn't mean you should. If you look at the most successful people on this planet, if you want to get rich, buying a home wouldn't be the first thing to do, okay? It, it, any more than going to college would be. Why would somebody go to college, borrow money, end up with an average debt load of $27,000 to leave college and not be able to get a job they want? How does that make any sense? Do the math, man. They must not be teaching math in college, Robert, on the rack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is crazy, man, what people are doing. Nobody, nobody, look at our entire culture. Nobody encourages anybody to sell anything. No wonder when you go to Macy's or Bloomingdale's, nobody can sell you anything. I wish they had. Dude, I wish somebody would tell me how to sell something right in I would have right started right at friggin' 17, 16, dude. You know, are you on mic? Yeah, I'm on mic. Okay. Then, 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 then you go to Macy's. I was in Macy's this weekend with my two kids, okay? I went in there to kill some time. What happens when people have time to kill? Spend money. They spend money. Anytime somebody's bored, they will spend money. I'm in there with the two kids. I'm ready for some action. My credit card's in my back pocket just like, just like, let's roll, dude. Let's do something. Let's play, man. It's just sitting in there vibrating at me. My head's saying don't spend any money till after Christmas, and my card's saying let's roll. I see this beautiful black Burberry jacket, rain jacket, and vest, you know, and I'm like, how much is that? Do you have one in a small? Let me go in the back and check. Why don't you just check on your computer, dude? I don't want to wait. See, it used to be the longer you spent with somebody, the better off you are. The age we're in today is that's not true. And if you're dumb, if you've been brainwashed to think spend more time with people, no, spend less time with people and make more money. It doesn't take your whole life to make money, folks. You don't want to be rich when you're dying.